Motorola Moto E3 Power Take Apart Repair Guide. Warning, you're performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. To perform this DIY repair, you'll need a plastic triangle opening tool, nylon spudger, fine tip curved tweezers, precision knife set, premium 2mm red adhesive roll, multi-purpose heat gun, Phillips screwdriver, playing cards, Power down your Motorola Moto E3 power phone. Use the plastic triangle opening tool or your fingernails to work around the Moto E3 power rear cover and release the plastic clip securing it in place. Easily lift out the long-lasting 3.8 volt 3500 milliamp hour Moto E3 power battery. Remove the following 13 Phillips screws. Use the triangle opening tool to pry up the plastic exterior midframe that protects the Moto E3 power motherboard. Extricate the Moto E3 power loudspeaker and antenna module from the bottom of the phone. Remove the piece of the midframe from the side of the Motorola phone. It covers the blue signal cable. Remove the following two Phillips screws. Detach the bevy of cables from the Moto E3 power motherboard. Pry the vibrator out of its chassis but do not completely remove it as it is soldered to the board. Slide the spudger underneath the motherboard to detach the connection on the backside and free it from the Moto E3 power interior midframe. Remove the 5 megapixel Motorola Moto E3 power front facing selfie camera. Extract the 8 megapixel Moto E3 power rear facing camera from the motherboard. Detach and remove the signal cable from the side of the Motorola phone. With the spudger in hand, disconnect the interconnect cable and then spudge up the Moto E3 power daughter board. It includes the micro USB connector, a microphone, spring contacts, and some control hardware. Tweeze out the Moto E3 power earpiece speaker. Carefully remove the fragile power and volume buttons cable from the side of the interior midframe.
Remove the IMEI sticker. Peel the display cable up and away from the midframe. The 5 inch Moto E3 power display assembly is glued on solidly. Apply heat to soften the adhesive. Use the precision knife to create enough space to insert a playing card. Start slicing through the adhesive with the playing card. Take your time and apply additional heat as needed. Once you have sliced through the adhesive, be mindful of the display's cables when decoupling the Moto E3 power screen from the frame.
make sure to take a look at our other DIY smartphone and tablet repair tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.